Hey everybody, welcome to my studio. It's Joanne Rogers. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Central Alberta, Canada, and I've been designing with you in mind since 1999. So welcome to my studio today. We're gonna wait just a couple minutes for folks to get on. Uh, we're back to my regular time, uh, Wednesday, 4.30. So while we're sort of waiting for people to find the, uh, the stream, I'm just gonna make sure that I'm coming up on my uh, iPad so that I can see any comments that people are going to be making. I've got a super fun project today that I want you to uh, work along and make with me. So we're going to be doing some folding and so uh, anybody who's just getting on and I see we've got a couple folks coming on I want you to make sure you go and grab a piece of just plain computer paper so eight and a half by eight and a half is the size that we want it to be so uh, go ahead and and pull that and you can run and cut that uh, hi Judy thanks for coming uh, come and uh, you're gonna make it along with me the very first one we're gonna make I'm gonna make just out of plain paper so that you can really follow along because it is super easy and what's really great about it is that there is no glue in it either so so I'll get to that in just a minute we've got uh, more people coming on and I will reiterate that before we get started again so before we get started housekeeping things like normal I want to tell you again about uh, what's happening starting on Friday. So Friday is the 15th of February and we have the new celebration items that are available. And the first one that I want to show you is this country floral embossing folder. And it is, and I see that there's a little bit of glare on there. Hi Kim, thanks for watching. Um, this is a beautiful embossing folder and it is a dynamic embossing folder. So here's one that I have um, embossed with it and you can just see how pretty that really is that's the uh, embossed side facing out and this is the debossed side so hey jennifer can't wait for friday great and there's all there's some other great goodies so that's the first thing that's available and that one is with a 60 dollars order and the other stamp set is one i realize that's backwards i'm sorry uh the other step is a stamp set and it's a photopolymer stamp set so it's one that you can see through and it's made specifically for uh, working with your Stamparatus. So, hey Marilyn, thanks for watching. So when you pull out your Stamparatus, this, and just think about all of the designs that are gonna work just beautifully and with all of these. And then I really like these sayings too. I've used both of these uh, on a card and we're getting together next Wednesday with uh, my team. And we're gonna be making that card online, first time. So we're gonna try something new there. Not on Facebook Live, but on another uh, streaming service 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 um, I want to show you so that that is also with a $60 order that one so the last uh, item is uh, free with the one twenty dollar order and I don't know if I can get this all fanned out but this is very pretty paper um, you can see here this one's this one's really cute it's got mushrooms on it uh, this guy here on the other side are flowers and the color um, the colors in it are, are just beautiful there's espresso there's uh, calypso coral lemon lime twist pool party um, what's the other I think powder pink is the pink that's in here uh, call me clover there's all kinds of great so I've got that fanned out a little bit more for you so this this one you can't get it individually yes Jennifer the paper is yummy that's a great word for it what it also comes with as a bundle is this set of stamps that's made for all seasons so it's called painted seasons and this uh, you get 12 by 12 paper you get uh, three each of uh, four different designs so you get 12 sheets and uh, I think this one is my favorite uh, just the color in there is really pretty and it almost looks a little bit like succulents uh, but roses at the same time so this is with a hundred and twenty dollar order so the painted season so this is on Friday starting on Friday that anybody can order that um, and there's the flyer. I've dropped up a, a few of those around town. So hi, Leanne. Thanks for coming. Uh, so you can take a peek at that. I'm sorry, I can't show you the inside of it yet. Um, that's not until Friday. So, okay, I'm going to get that stuff out of the way. And we're going to talk a little bit. I want to remind anybody who's just coming on what uh, I'd like you to go grab. So if you can, 
uh, go grab yourself a piece of computer paper, just uh, any, like even one that's sitting in the recycle bin. Uh, eight, eight and a half by eight and a half is the size that we want it to be. So while I'll just keep on talking and I've got some more things to talk about, but I'd like you to make what we're going to make at least so you get the project because it is super easy and it doesn't use glue. You really don't need a ruler at all and uh, it's got a really cute design. So if you haven't got that, go run and get yourself a piece of eight and a half by eight and a half paper. So this week I have been showcasing as my product of the week, the Happiness Blooms Suite, really. So the Bloom by Bloom uh, bundle, and that is the Bloom by Bloom stamp set. And I'm gonna have to put you down. So I, um, I've said in a couple posts, I think this really was not, this didn't do it for me when I first saw it. And I think it was probably one sheet of the paper that I didn't like. Um, but now it has become, uh, it's one of my top favorites. And then the bundle actually has four itty bitty, they're called bitty blooms, uh, punches. And we're going to use uh, one of these today. And I have a blog post on Sunday also showcasing those. The uh, card that I did on my blog for Tuesday, so Tuesday's blog was this card here. So I hope that you had a chance to uh, take a look at it. So um, what I was showcasing here is the Memories and More pack. So the Memories and More pack, um, I, ooh, I really should have a catalog here. I'm thinking, hmm, what page is it on? Anybody have a catalog not too far from them? I'd have to walk across the room, so I'm not going to go grab mine. But the suite for the Happiness Blooms, there's a stamp set, there's paper, there's ribbon, there's a dot-to-dot -dot embossing folder. This is made with paper. Really, it's almost like a card out of the uh, Happiness Blooms cards and more pack. A card pack, rather. Sorry. So I want to show you a little bit about that today, but this makes your card making super quick and easy. This one's a little stepped up because I've got some embossing on here, some white embossing and some gingham, gingham ribbon and a couple punches because I thought that they matched really well. But what's great about this is not, this is not cardstock. This is a set of cards um, that has their own envelope to match. So there's an envelope that's a large one and then there's a smaller one and you get 10 of each. So it's a really good deal. So, uh, and I've got a full pack right here. So I want to just, um, I think maybe I'll just, uh, I'm not going to tell you a whole bunch about the card pack, but this is some of them here. So there are some um, fancier ones like the one that I use. There's, I think, six where they have a really shiny uh, bit to them. And then there's all kinds that are ready-made just for stamping or making some quick cards really fast. So it's just like having designer paper and all you have to do is plop those on one of those cards and you're done. And then there's some smaller ones as well. So different ones here. And again, some of them have words on them. You can just decorate them with the stickers that come with it. So it's sort of the next best thing to a kit, um, but way, way cheaper. $13.50 for one of these packages. It comes nicely wrapped in a little pack like this, and you can get you could get more than 50 cards out of this. So if you're needing to do a bunch of cards quickly, this is what you want to be looking at. Okay, so I'm going to put that aside and clear off my table. And I want to talk to you about uh, my winning. Uh, who Who's winning? So I found this week, and I didn't realize there was one there, that Facebook has a, an automatic uh, random comment picker, and it'll pick a winner for me. So I don't have to write out all of those little notes, uh, pieces of paper. And so um, I'm going to show you first the cards that we made, and then I'm going to let you know who gets to pick one of the cards. So after a bunch of time, this is what we came up with last week, and thanks everybody for their input. I had a bit of a challenge and uh, I was a little longer definitely than I wanted to be but this was the great card we made. This was the one that I had started with where the idea came from and then I made a couple more. So I, because I wanted to get this perfected and, uh, and I did, and I put a few things on my blog as ways that you can learn from my mistakes. And so go back and take a look at the blog. Uh, so that was Thursday. Well, actually it didn't post. I had a real difficult time getting YouTube to load, load. So I think I posted this on Saturday and I've got three great shots of learning from my mistakes. So this guy here, 
Now it's another one that I did and it opened differently. So here's another mistake that I didn't have in there. Well, I don't think it's really a mistake, but it's a design flaw, I would think. So when you pull it open, you can see this guy fine, but that guy's upside down. So what you want to do is make sure that your cards are going to open this way when you're doing this sort of mirror and window technique. Same thing for this card, even though I'm still on the four and a quarter by 11 and I did it round again or over again when you pull it up they're upside down so things to to note as you're making these because they are really cute cards so there are actually four different designs and I'm going to point us down at the table so that we can see them all at one time and then and then I'll announce who won them and how you win so it's like prize patrol you win just by making comments and by making shares so uh, I'll let Facebook do the picking and if I can figure out how to get that on screen at the same time that I'm on screen I will gladly have that so that we pick a winner uh, during the Facebook live I did it just before like two minutes before I, I ran in front of the computer or phone here okay so I'm gonna turn you around and let's get busy okay let me know how that looks if it looks like you can see everything or if i need to uh, pull you in just a little bit so it looks like maybe i could come in just a smidge so i'm gonna come in hopefully just a smidge without it's really difficult actually to get just a smidge because i'm just barely touching this here so um the other way I can do this is let me move it out because you have a pretty good view of my floor right now. I guess it must be a little bit crooked. There, how's that? Okay, so our winner from last week, and she actually is uh, watching, so I know that she's going to be able to pick which one she wants, and that's Marilyn Wagner. So Marilyn, looks great, thanks. You just happened to leave a comment at the same time that you can see everything. So Marilyn, you can send me a message or you can leave a comment here on which of these cards you would like me to throw in the mail to you. And, um, and that, that's great. And you uh, have all the instructions on how to make it. So I guess you're gonna need to tell me red, uh, two dog, or the three dog, one that we made or this guy here. So we can talk about that later though too. Okay, my own dog may start barking here because my uh, case just fell over over by the door. So, and he's very skittish. Okay, so let's talk more about what we're gonna be doing today. So has everybody gotten their sheet of eight and a half by eight and a half piece of paper? So if you do, uh, what I'd like you to do is, you're welcome, Marilyn. What I'd like you to do is pull out that paper because we're gonna make this together. So this is just a plain ordinary piece of bond paper and it's measured at eight and a half by eight and a half square. Any square size will work to do this uh, fancy fold envelope, but um, I'm choosing this side because I wanted to put a little gift card in it. Three dog, bottom right. Okay, I think that was maybe the one we did in the, uh, in the class or in the Facebook Live. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. You're going to take it on a diagonal and you are going to fold up so that it meets right in the middle and you've created a triangle. Okay, so you could pull out your folding bone for this if you want, but you don't have to. So you start there. And then what you're going to do is you're going, who's actually doing this along with me? Come on, I need to have at least one person out of the folks that are on here. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the point, you're gonna sort of pull it apart again, and you're gonna take this point and pull it right down. And you're gonna try and get it as straight as possible so the point is right in line with the bottom of that um, fold you just made. And then fold that. I can feel that that's moving just a smidge, so I'm gonna pull it back. Okay, and then you can just fold that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to start from the left. It seems to work just a little bit better. Yay, Judy, thanks. I'm glad you're following along. If you work from the left and then the right last. So I'm going to come from the left and you are going to eyeball this. So you're going to come about, oh great, Kim. You're going to come about three quarters of an inch. If you wanted, you could pull out a ruler, but you don't have to. But if I wanted to, I could say, okay, well, that's my three quarters of an inch there and I'm gonna come across. I am just going to eyeball that. 
and then pull that across and fold it. Okay, and try and fold them as square as possible. Now you're going through a couple of th uh, thicknesses of paper. You might want to pull in your folding bone. So, and then we're going to do the last side, also about three quarters of an inch in. Okay, I can see that I'm not quite straight. And why I can see I'm not quite straight, what I want is this point here to meet up sort of with that point. So what I need to do is I need to pull this side over a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to pull that over a little more. And I see that I'm only about half an inch, so I didn't do a very good eyeball there. So pull that over. You're right in line with the bottom, and now you're going to pull this other guy over. And same thing, I want to try and even up the sides, the bottom, give it a crisp old fold along the top. And then this part here is where you're going to take this little um, point here and you're going to fold it back on itself. And right where th these two meet is where you're going to have a line. So when you fold it, you're going to have a fold line there. So fold it back on itself. Again, everything is lined up with the bottom, so that's square. Okay, so you've got that now. And now you're just going to take that and you are going to fold it open. So I'm pulling it back in towards the middle, sanding it up, and I am pressing right on the line that I made to create a little diamond down there, a little square diamond. Okay, so that's what I've got. And now I'm gonna fold the top down. And ideally, had I gotten this exactly straight, this would be right matched up. But then your, your top envelope fits inside your fold there. Okay, so this looks uh, great. This is what we're doing right now. Um, I'm not too sure, Sarah, why you can't comment. So I just got a comment from someone saying that she's not able to comment on the video. But it looks like other people are. So can anybody, everybody maybe just send me a quick comment right now um, just to let me know that you're watching and that you're not having any challenge with comments and if I find that we have everybody then I'm going to have to figure that out. I'm sorry that I can't figure that out right now. So there's what we're making. Now you can make these in whatever size. Marilyn's got hers folded perfect. Uh, what about you Judy and Kim or have you got yours folded too? So I'm gonna show you now what we're going to make. So I am working with the Happiness Blooms. I'm gonna put that aside in case we need it. I'm gonna get my ruler and my pencil out of the way. So I'm pulling out some Happiness Blooms. So uh, yeah, it is pretty cool, Leanne, and it works with any kind of paper. You probably want thinner paper if you can, because um, when it's thinner paper, then uh, it's gonna be easier to fold. So ours is gonna get not difficult, we just definitely need to have a folding bone with what the project is that I'm going to make. And Judy's got hers done too, perfect. So this is the Happiness Blooms paper and I've got just little pieces here, but um, I've picked one of them. I'm gonna show you one I've picked and you guys are gonna let me know which side you want me to use. But the, here's some of the other ones. So you can sort of see what they are and the first project I made actually is in this one and I'm going to show you that one at the end and then there's this guy here that's this is um got that on the background so it's got some coral and it, this one's very pretty I love the navy in here this one's very bold sort of a I don't know I heard somebody refer to it as a Scandinavian theme does anyone see that in there I'm not so sure so those are all the papers so this is the one I've chosen and I've already cut that to eight and a half by eight and a half black and white land would look great this is actually navy and white is that what you're you're mentioning uh, this is navy and white so we're going to be working on our navy and white so if you still have another your piece of paper and you're wanting to do it again we are going to uh, start so oh yes Okay, Leanne, black and white. Marilyn is saying navy. So is that the one that we want to see on the outside? I'm thinking yes. Okay, I was just going ahead. So I'm going to fold this in half again, right? To the, Matching up the two points. I am going to pull out my bone folder for this. We were having a debate. I think I mentioned this before. Is it a bone folder or a folding bone? Now I'm going to take that point and go straight down to the bottom. And I'm just going to push that up. So this piece of paper is a little bit thicker. 
than the one that I was working with my computer paper. So I'm really giving it some good uh, crisp edges here. So I'm gonna go from the left about three quarters of an inch, which is about there. Again, I am eyeballing this here. So I'm folding that down into the middle. I'm gonna come across with this one. And really, I guess what I could do is not score that quite so much if I'm not quite sure that I'm in the middle. But here, I think I'm in the middle. Pretty close anyway. So I'm gonna score this side too. So you can hear my bone folder making nice noise there. And now I'm gonna take this piece right where the two intersect and I'm gonna push it back, pull it back, fold it back, I guess, on itself. And give that one lots of nice uh, uh, burnishing there. So I've done that there. Now we're gonna make that little diamond. So I'm gonna open that up. There we go. And I'm just going to match it up. And there we have our little diamond, and now I'm gonna fold it down. And I don't think I'm quite in the middle, but I'm not, I'm not bad, actually, so I'm happy with that. Okay, now you could measure these all if you want, but I'm thinking you don't really need to. So now I fold that in and I'm done. So that's one of the part of the project, but now, of course, we need to fancy that up. So what I'm going to do is pull in some things that I want to use. And I've already done a flower. And the flower, I chose to use the daisy flower because I thought that it was really quite pretty. And it seemed to match the paper really well. And I'm gonna show you just a couple uh, little things that I wanna do to fancy it up. So the first thing, so I've taken three of the flowers, Pineapple Punch, Whisper White, and Night of Navy. And it's going to sit on here like this. I could have gone with the Call Me Clover, but I really like the yellow against the navy and the white. So that's why I did that. And I put those together because that's fairly standard and I think everybody has a good sense of how to do that. So I put it together. I just glued in the middle of each one. I've got liquid glue on here, so it's not going anywhere. And then all I did is I took my bone folder and I just very lightly, lightly but firmly, if you wanna use that term, um, turned it in so that there's just a little bit of a curve. Instead of just lying flat, I wanted them to have uh, some personality. So I'm gonna put that on top of there. But what I wanna do first is I wanna show you how to make these cool little things. So this is cording, and lots of people don't even know that we have cording, but this is cording, and the cording is actually, it doesn't tie into a bow really well because it is fairly thick, but I like it because you can make cool things with it. So what I wanna show you how to do, what to do, is how to get these edges on it. So all you're gonna do is wherever your ends are, you're gonna take your fingernail, or if you want, take your, your bone folder, and you're going to pull on it, and when you do, what you'll notice is that you have some nylon pieces. This one's gonna do some cool things and you can probably just start to pull that out. So it'll come right out of there. It instantly makes it a lot more flexible. I'm gonna do this other end before I pull that other one too. Okay, so all I'm doing is make it look a little bit wonky because I want it to catch the light behind there and just if it was flat I didn't think it would. So another sort of cool thing is that those inside pieces, I'm going to pull this one out now, they will come out straight like this one did or they'll come out all sort of wiggly and I don't know it reminds me of a, a really small slinky or something. Anybody have, an, anybody have a slinky still hanging around? Uh, so we're not going to use these pieces but they would be good on a card. So I have three pieces like that, that I've done that too, and I'm going to put those in behind on here. And because I want them to stick fast, as in quickly, so that um, it'll stick while we're on the screen here, I'm going to put them onto a glue dot. So I'm just gonna lay them over top of a glue dot. Let me pull my ribbon back here, top of a glue dot. Here's another one, and I have cut these just slightly varying uh, lengths. And I'm going to crisscross them a little bit in behind there. Okay, and I'm going to put those down just right over across. And I'm not really paying too much attention to where I'm placing these because I just want them to come out 
from behind the flower. That one's really far over. I could move him a little bit, but I'm going to leave where he is. Okay. So I could also make this one a little bit shorter. I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to give him, give him a little trim here. Okay. So those are there. Now, the next thing I want to do is I have these cool little magnets. Now, I know that I could get magnets that are probably a lot less expensive than $14.99 for 25 of them. I got these at the gaming store, and they are itty-bitty little magnets like this. They're 3 16 by 1 16 wide. And I pulled out two of them because I'm going to put a magnet right on here but what i'm going to do first is i'm going to put that on a glue dot so it's easier for me to put right on top oh i think i've done that the wrong way hold on just a second yes because my magnets are going to stick together like that i'm going to take them apart this is the hardest part i'm going to take that glue dot off of there and i'm going to get a new one because i need this glue dot to stick in both sides. So I need it to stick on the magnetic side and I'm going to place that facing down. Okay, place that down, facing down. And then I'm going to put a glue dot on the back of my flower and I'm going to put it right over top of that magnet. Oh, I want it sort of in the middle though. That one's off to the side. I'm going to leave it there for now, but I'm going to put this guy hopefully more in the middle. That's better. So I'm going to put that right over top and it will stick to that magnet. If you wanted to throw it, depending how much um, wear and tear this is going to have, if you wanted to throw some liquid glue on there, you probably could. So I've got that on there now, but what I need to do is what I want is see how that's sort of loose. Like it doesn't really have a lot of, um, I want it to be folded more like this. So that's why I'm using the magnets. So I'm gonna take the top part off and I'm going to put a magnet on the back here. So in order to do that, I just need to pick up my magnet, like again, the hardest part, and it's going to find that other magnet because I already have one on there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a punch and I think I'll take this punch and maybe I'll use some yellow, which I don't have here. I'm gonna use some green that I just happen to have here. We're gonna go call me Clover, one of the little mini punches. I'm going to put a glue dot on that because I don't really wanna see that. I want to cover it up. I don't want people to see the magnet. I want the magnet to do the work that I want it to do, but I really don't want to see it, okay? So now that fits in there right there. I think I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to do a white, a piece, uh, a white dot. So this guy here is a leaf and a dot for like the middle of the flowers. So I'm going to do a white glot, glot, a white dot, and I'm going to put that in the middle of the green. And then it's going to look a lot like this one, but in reverse. I'm going to use my take your pick tool and I didn't use this guy at first but now I am so um, I'm going to pick up that dot and I'm going to place it right over top now had I been thinking I probably would have done that before I glued it down but see because now it doesn't want to stick I put a little too much glue there okay so that's going I'm just going to let that dry for just a couple seconds and then I'll close it to show you. But while I'm doing that, while we're doing that, let's work on the rest of the card. So the rest of the card, I just want to do a little bit of stamping. Okay, so what? when you cut out your eight and a half by eight and a half piece, you're going to have a nice strip of leftover. So I'm going to take, I took a piece of Knight of Navy and my measurements for this. So this guy here is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. That's my largest. My designer paper is two and a half by three and a half. And then I have a piece of my white that's two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. Okay, so they're all going to layer on top. So what I need you to decide for me is which way, which designer paper do we want to see? Do we want to see the Call Me Clover in behind there? Or do we want to see the same as what the um, envelope itself is made of, which is the navy with the flowers? So 
Again, let's see how many people we can get uh, voting on this. And we are going to take, how about the first uh, the first two? So the first two people, if you can uh, message in and comment in about which one we should be using. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do some stamping. So we're going to, first of all, stamp from the, this is the part of my story. And where is my part of this? So this is another one of our celebration sets. And this is just a really fun one. Okay, so we've got, oh no, we have one of each. So we need a tiebreaker. We need one more person to make a comment, please. So we've got one for Call Me Clover and Kim's for Navy with the flowers. So this part of my story is, um, it's really, really pretty and it's fun. Like let's get together and giggle, which is the one I used on the other one. And so um, I think we're probably going to use today. Oh, well, again, I need someone to help me with this. The world needs more people like you. Okay, we're going navy with the flowers. Thank you, Judy, for being the tiebreaker. Um, which one do we want to use today? So considering that that is our envelope, so it's, it's sort of fun. Um, or is it more of let's get together and giggle? So the first person here. So tell me what one we want to use today. And then I'll make sure that I pull that one out. I have let's get together and giggle, but maybe that's not the one that we want to use. So who else are we, is going to weigh in there and let me know. I'll just hold off for a second before I do any stamping. I will go ahead and glue this down, however, with my snail, which is right here. I'm just gonna put my designer paper on top of my navy. Okay, and we have a giggle. Perfect, we had two giggles. So we are going to use that today. Um, you know, I looked at that one when I first got it and I thought, I'm never gonna use that, but I quite like it. I think it's quite cute. Okay, so. I am going to use navy, and I'm going to tell you why in just a minute. So let me pull the navy out. So let's get together and giggle is going to go here. And I'm hoping that I'm going to be straight because I'm not really looking straight down from the top of it. So let's see, are we straight? Not too bad. And then I've pulled out one of the little flowers. And it's the little flower that is most closely matched. So in the Bloom by Bloom set, there's some little flowers in here. And I used, picked, pulled out this one, and I'm going to put some yellow flowers on. So some pineapple punch. So I'm just going to put a couple of those on there. Okay, so just surrounding it. And then I'm going to glue that down. But we're not done yet. I want to do one more thing. Because I want to tie the outside of my envelope and the decoration I did there with the inside. So let's put this on. This one's going to look pretty cool, actually, because in some cases you're going to see the green dots, and in other cases you're not. So that's sort of a really cool effect on there, isn't there? So what I want to do is I want to pull in my daisy punch. I'm going to get rid of my navy so I don't get in there. And I'm going to punch my daisy. And I'm just going to put my daisy right in the corner like that. So I'm going to glue it down with my um, liquid glue. And I'm not gonna put much up here because I'm going to have this extend over the edge. So I'm gonna have this come up here like this. Make sure I have enough glue so that it's all glued down. And now I'm going to, see I've got lots of glue there, so I didn't want to waste too much glue. And now I'm just gonna cut off the tips of the daisy. And you always wanna do this from the back side, so it makes it a little bit easier. There we go. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put a few of our embellishments. So these are the enamel dots on there. And I'm going to use navy or yellow. Which do you think is gonna look better on there? Or, well, green, I don't, well, I don't know. So again, I need one of you to give me an idea here. We could go navy on top of the uh, flower. We could go yellow, which certainly you're gonna see more. Or we could just go with a tone on tone effect and go with green. So I'll wait just a couple minutes there for you to let me know which one I want to be using. I'm going to pull this stuff out of here and put that aside. 
in that little piece of glue. It's glued down. Okay, uh, navy. Okay, well, let's go with navy. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay, and I'm just going to put three, and I'm going to put three different sized ones on here. There's a, a big, a tiny, and a medium. And I'm not getting them exactly in the middle because I really don't want them exactly in the middle. So that is going to pop right inside here. And it's going to fit perfectly. Well, if we measured everything, it's going to fit perfectly. And then this is going to come down. Now it's going to stick together better because my you can see right here, actually, that this is stuck together here where I'm going to put in my... And he fell off. I need some more. I need another uh, another glue dot on him. So I need. A, did I not put a glue dot on that guy? Did anybody notice that? And I had forgotten. So I'm going to put glue dot here on that magnet, and I'm going to let it find it again, which is about right there. It seems. There we are. So now I'm going to stick the glue dot. I think that's what I missed last time was the uh, was the glue dot on the magnet. Hey, you guys got to be helping me out here. And now I'm just going to fold that in there. So it is going to fit a little bit tighter. It's not going to be super tight, but we've got some of these gold guys. And now we're going to put, and I think, what color do we want on here? Do we want green or navy? I don't think we want yellow. So green or navy on there. No, I put glue. Did I, Jennifer? Oh, okay, green or navy. So there's the green on top. So that would pick up the, the green here. Navy goes with more with, with the tone on tone kind of look. Leanne says navy. We're going with more navy. Okay, and we're just going to do three here. And you can see I'm not, I'm not really looking at exactly where I'm putting them. I, it's, as long as I can get them down. Okay, here we go. Whoops, that one wants to come off. It needs to be a little more. That's okay. Oh, okay. That guy didn't stick. Where did he go? He is on here somewhere. He's not on my hands. Oh, look, he's still there. He doesn't want to come off of there. Okay, so there we go. So there's that guy. So I want to pull in the one that I did first, and you can let me know. Uh, which one's your favorite? Let me just get rid of all these guys here. So there's this guy. Here's this other one. So those are the, I'll put them straight so they're a little easier to see. So this guy here, when you open him up, he looks almost exactly the same. On this one, I think I, what I did is I went in and I did the petals individually. So where I showed you, I did them three. I did the petals individually because I think you can see that maybe they stand up a little bit more, which I think I like a little better. So this is some of the black cording on there. Did the same thing with the magnet. And then here's our little guy here. And all I did here was I colored my rhinestones with my basic black uh, Stampin' Blend. So there's one. And here's the other. With your help, we made this one. So which one do you think is your favorite? So Leanne likes the navy. Kim likes the red one. Perfect. Do we have anyone else for the red one? This paper too, I just thought this, is, as soon as I saw it, I thought, okay, well, I got to pull out the daisy. And that, that's why I sort of went with another piece of paper that was still daisy. So uh, Judy likes them both. Thank you, Judy. Uh, you like the, the berryish one, the lipstick. Um, Jenner, so perfect with the yellow. Yeah, they're, they are so much fun and they're really quick. So that didn't take us very long to put together a real fun little card. And what is also great about them is they will fit a gift card. So it's another gift card holder. And I'm not sure there's anybody who doesn't need another gift card holder idea, right? So there you go. There's your project for today. If you wanted, you could probably wrap some ribbon around there too or put a bow on. But uh, let me bring you back around. So hold on just a second. 
Okay, I think I'm back. So thank you very much for joining me. Now, let me see. There are a couple things I wanted to let you know. So uh, the last day to register for our paper crafting retreat is on the 16th. So if you have not registered, uh, we only have like two spots left. So if you want to get in on that, I would love to have you join us. We've, uh, we've been working really hard at what our projects are going to be. And we're getting excited and getting all planned up. So email me. And and let me know that you would like to join in or if you have a friend who might be interested you can let me know too and also I'm taking some registrations for my sampler so I'm going to stand back so that you can see this one and I know there's glare I'm going to move it that way so I'm doing a spring and Easter sampler uh, this class is on the 23rd of March in the afternoon and uh, or is it in the morning oh darn uh, hold on just a second I've got it somewhere here I had it uh, it's right here it is, 12, I was right, 12.30 to 3 on the 23rd. And so it comes with the frame and everything's cut and you just come and play. So you can email me if you're interested in that one too. Okay, I think that's everything. Oh, just tell you what the finished size of the card is. So this is finished side is three by four by the, sorry, this is three by four by the time we're done with our folding. So an eight and a half by uh, eight and a half square will give you a three by four card. So please share this with your friends. Uh, and if you haven't already joined the design with, oh, that's what I need to tell you. The design with Joe VI Peeps, the group, because I have an exclusive pop-up video on Saturday morning. So I, I knew there was something I was forgetting. So on Saturday morning at nine, so I'm going to get you out of bed early and you can be groggy and in your pajamas and have your cup of coffee and I've got a, a project for you also using the Bloom by Bloom stamp set and maybe one that has a little different feel to it so it's on design with Joe V I peeps though so you have to be a member to uh, to watch that one so if you're not currently go to the top of my design with Joe page and click on the visit group and join and then you'll be in so uh, we'll see you on Saturday, hopefully. Until then, have a great Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's tomorrow. And uh, we'll see you then. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.